Hello, and thank you for taking the time to have important conversations about mission support and what it means for you, your congregation, and your synod. I'd like to invite you to consider this passage from 2 Kings chapter 4. Now the wife of one of the sons of the prophets cried to Elijah, Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that your servant feared the Lord, but the creditor has come to take my two children to be his slaves. And Elijah said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what have you in the house? And she said, Your maidservant has nothing in the house except a jar of oil. Then he said, Go outside, borrow vessels of all your neighbors, empty vessels, and not too few. Then go in and shut the door upon yourself and your sons, and pour into all these vessels, and when one is full, set it aside. So she went from him and shut the door upon herself and her sons, and as she poured, they brought the vessels to her. When the vessels were full, she said to her son, Bring me another vessel. And he said to her, There is not another. Then the oil stopped flowing. She came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil and pay your debts, and you and your sons can live on the rest. Now take a minute and think about that story. What really stood out to you? When I've had this conversation with other people, they say, well, certainly, that this was a widow, that she was close to being destitute, the horrible poverty, the tragedy of having to sell her sons into slavery. All of those things jump right off the page, but there's one part in here that I didn't hear until I heard this story a couple of times. It's when Elijah says to her, what have you in the house? And she answers right away, well, nothing. Well, maybe a little oil. But think about this. When you work with your synod or congregations, very often people will say, we don't have anything. But right away here, Elijah knows that God has already provided what the people need. And that's probably true in your synod or your congregation as well. What have you in your house? What is already there that God might use? And then this part always strikes me. When Elijah instructs the woman, go out and ask for these vessels and not too few. It kind of reminds me of the story of the Israelites when they were first collecting manna and God said, go out there and take exactly enough for your family. Not too much, not too little. And certainly there were these people and they'd go out and they would only collect half a bucket. I would call these the Lutheran Israelites. Somehow, we're afraid to accept the challenge that God is a God of abundance. Don't collect too few vessels, Elijah says. Have faith that God provides. I think that that is an important thing for us to consider as we take a look at our synod and also our congregations. There is enough, there is more than enough, but we need to find it in our hearts and in our way of life to trust in the abundance that God has provided and in the agency that he has given us to be able to use what is already there in service to God's kingdom and also in service to the neighbor. So have a great conversation.